Aloha, my name is Arto Sari. I'm a total transplant here in Hawaii. I grew up in Finland and uh, did some skateboarding over the years and got the surf bug later on in life. And I was like, you know what? Just put everything in a container, ship it across the ocean and learn how to surf. So that's why I'm here. You know, being a professional skateboarder for years, whatever, and then doing tricks and doing tricks and just all about thinking about this one split moment of like going down a handrail or stairs or whatever during filming a flip sorry and stuff. I started hanging out with all the best skate photographers in the industry. So I kind of just started picking their brain like, hey, what, what's that lens? What's that camera? What's that do? Like, oh, how do you use that flash or whatever? Just like a, a question here and a question there, whatever. But I got super lucky because I, I got to see everyone's process. For skateboarding, skateboarders, they see the, the cities as an open canvas. It's just like a giant skate park. I feel like skateboarders and photographers like see a lot the same way. It's like thing you have to really concentrate going down a handrail and you have to really concentrate on getting the picture. It's like the same thing as doing a trick and getting a picture. It's like that split moment where you just have to be completely focused and in tune what's going on. Surfing wasn't even a, a blip on my radar in 2013. I just shot skateboarding, skateboarding, skate industry, skate clients, then that transferred more into a little bit more commercial work of shooting outside of skateboarding. And then I got bit by the surf bug and I just threw that whole world away. Like all the clients, all, the whole thing that I built for 20 years in California, everything I knew it was just like, well, that's out the window. And I told my wife to move to Hawaii and she's like, what are you doing? You're a photographer, you're skateboarding, you can't do that. I'm like, we're going. When surfing came along, I think I was like fully able to finally let go of skateboarding. I'm like, I don't have to think about it anymore. I can, I can just go surf and do my thing and I can still ride a board, you know, somewhat. I mean, my surfing is not that crazy or whatever. It's mostly just getting pummeled, you know, pushed to the reef, but I enjoy that beating. I think the beating at sunset is way better than any skate park. After getting out of the city, I didn't really make any pictures. For years, I felt like I was just forced to do that because I was like, I'm a photographer. I have to shoot. I start, I start, you know, I was on the bike path a lot, taking the kids to school and everything. And I just kind of started seeing these little moments, mundane moments. And then, you know, obviously looking at this whole picture here, I was like, wow, it's just kind of, I mean, I'm in such an amazing place. And I was like, what's wrong with it? Why, why don't I want to make any pictures? I just started, carrying the camera and the bike and the basket, just a little camera and a lens. And then later, within like a few months, it just like reignited my love for photography. So I think the bike path in Hawaii rekindled my passion for photography. The most fun I have shooting pictures when it's just me and a camera and nothing else to worry about. It's just like, you just worry about your focus, your aperture, and your film speed, and that's it. That's like when I have the most fun making pictures. Yeah, the da daily routine over here is get on a bike, bring a camera or two, go check the waves, maybe shoot a couple of pictures in the bike path, portraits or whatever. Like, I just kind of go on an intent of just trying to make at least one picture a day, you know, and wrap it up with a sauna and ice bath. For me, being in a sauna is the place where you, you don't have to listen to your phone. You don't have to care about time. It's just like, should be a place to go quiet down and heal and do your thing. It's like, it's like one place. Sauna is very holy for fin Finnish people. Photography is a lot about asking questions. I think the key thing for young photographers is ask a lot of questions, look at your pictures, you almost got to spend as much time looking at your pictures as you did shooting them. You know, examine them, look at them, like, how can I make this better? What was the light doing? What's this? What's that? What do I want to, what do I want to tell with this picture? I mean, I guess that's the biggest thing is like, what do you want to tell with that picture? 